horror fans, I'm your host Douglas here at Drown Boy Productions and you're watching the 31 Days of Trick or Treat. Thank you all for joining us on another episode of the 31 Days of Trick or Treat, where we take a look at a new Trick or Treat Studios product every single day for 31 days, starting on Halloween and ending December 1st. We've been taking a look at some really incredible replicas over the past few weeks, and we are now entering the fourth week of the 31 Days of Trick or Treat. Today we're going to be taking a look at another original piece that has no correlation with any original franchise. Yesterday's original piece was the Ghoul Mask, sculpted by Justin Mabry. Today, however, we're taking a look at a piece sculpted by Jordu Shell. Here we have the Hybrid. Oh man, the Hybrid. What a cool mask, and it has a pretty cool history as well. If I recall correctly, this is one of the first masks that Jordu sculpted that he was like super, super proud of. And he did the original in the 80s. It was a pretty awesome piece that definitely had that Distortions Unlimited alien vibe to it, but it was done very, very well. This one is the new modern updated version, and there are quite a few differences. Mostly like the bone structure in the face, but I'm not going to sit here and nitpick all the differences between the original hybrid and this hybrid. I think that they're both great sculpts in their own right. This one, however, definitely has that modern day Jordu shell touch to it, and for a mass produced mask, this thing is incredibly priced. Not incredibly priced as an expensive, but just wow, what you get for the value is great. So to start things off, the tag here has a nice up close picture of the hybrid itself. And I actually did notice a bit of a misprint, I do believe. On the back of the tag, it says it was sculpted by Connor DeLess, but I'm pretty certain that this was sculpted by Jordu himself. I know that this came from his line and I'm pretty, pretty certain that that is just a misprint. But as for the sculpt, you have this incredibly creepy humanoid insectoid creature and it has like these crazy like bony structures which could be part of like the exoskeleton, but just really really crazy looking. I love the forms here in the back of the head. A lot of really really nice texturing throughout. Just really really well done. I mean, I know I keep saying that, but Jordu is a great sculptor. I'm sure a lot of you out there, if you're in the mass collecting world, you've heard his name, you've seen his work. If you've ever watched Making Monsters, you know Jordu. But this thing is so interesting. There's so many different textures that you could sit here and look this thing over all day from different angles and appreciate different things about it. It's just really, really well done. He's got like these weird little spiny pieces jutting out of his skin here. And I was amazed that they were able to get those all to cast nice and evenly and not messed up because that's something that's kind of hard to do. Same thing with the teeth. The teeth have a ton of definition there, but they're all casted and painted incredibly well. Seeing that texture makes me think that Trick or Treat Studios, if given the Predator license, could probably make some really, really cool Predator masks. The eyes are painted just jet black, completely lifeless, really, really creepy. And of course, the eyes and the mouth are glossed pretty heavily, so it looks really, really nice and shiny and gross and realistic in person. And one of my favorite details about this mask, if you turn it around, you'll notice that the seam line is lined up pretty well. That's because they stitched Velcro into this mask. So you have Velcro here, here, and here. Three strips of Velcro, which will help it stay shut in the back, which gives even more so that illusion that you're this crazy giant alien monster. And also for comfort, it's a nice thing. For display even, it's a nice thing. It helps that bib stay shut and hold the proper shape for display. But anyways, I've talked enough about why I like this mask. Let's go ahead and read some more details about it directly from the Trick or Treat Studios website excerpt. All right, here we go. It says it was sculpted by Jordu Shell. So I'm thinking it absolutely was just a misprint there on the tag. I'll have to let them know about that. Jordu Shell is a renowned sculptor and concept designer who has worked on films including Avatar, Starship Troopers, and Dawn of the Dead. Hybrid is a reimagining of one of Jordu's classics and iconic mask designs from the late 80s. Get this and other Jordu classics for your collection and use it to creep out your neighborhood this Halloween. And as for the price, it's running the average of $60. So really a great price for something of this quality. It feels like it's something that's almost the quality of the Distortions Unlimited Monsters of the Month line, which those are really, really nice masks. Of course, anything you get from Distortions are really, really nice masks. But that era of Distortions, when they were producing those, they were spending more time per mask, thus giving them a much, much better paint finish. 
and these kind of look like those in quality. So really for 60 bucks, it's just a great price. And if you're interested in picking one of these up yourself, you can get it directly from Trick or Treat Studios or one of the many retailers that they work with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the other videos in the 31 Days of Trick or Treat event. I love you all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.